Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As you know, my heart sings with joy every time someone takes an invention of mine and turns it into a very, very cool 3D printed project. Because I'm too stupid for these things. But some guys are extra clever. Like Alan from South Africa who sent me this. <laughs> a 3D printed, laser equipped, <laughs> flashlight equipped version of the sliding instant Legolas for tactical purposes. He calls it the TRB, Tactical Repeating Bow. So cool. <laughs> Isn't it cool? There are now many different versions of the sliding instant Legolas for 3D printers around and they're all really 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 cool but what makes this one special is that most of the bow is actually 3D printed minus there are like these uh, spring elements and I think those are carbon fiber plus also their same material is I think used for the barrel part um, so, uh, so the bow itself is a 3D printed thing, including the cams, which are of course very essential for compound bows. Now the bow is also really, really compact. I don't think you can go any more compact than this, because look what happens when you draw out the bow. Look how close this is and, you know, I can still put my hand comfortably in here, but it couldn't be any more tight. So this is about as tight as you can go with a bow like this. And there is a let off, of course. The draw weight is not high. It's only about, I would estimate it's around 35 pounds, which is way more than enough for home defense. And this is a field tip, which I'm normally using against my archery target mats. And those were about 12 grams. And those are a little lighter. They come in at just about 10 grams, but they're of course much more lethal. <laughs> And you can very easily fit them in the magazine because you can just clap it open entirely. And then you see that they are a little wider here at the end of the knock. So there's like a dovetail cut in here where you can slide in the bolts. And as you see, there's enough room for the broadheads too. Now I shot short bolts before with the sliding instant Legolas and there is always the danger that it can squeeze out here and hit you in the hand, which would be most unpleasant. But um, that's why I think Alan, the maker from South Africa, chose to design it in a way that that cannot happen. Since the bolts are so thick that they actually cannot squeeze out between those. Those are not springy enough to really open up nearly enough so that they can squeeze out. So that's guided super safely and I actually love that he used a ball shape like this. It reminds me a little bit on darts. So that's a rather short draw. I would estimate that it's just about just above 20 inches or 21 inches or so of a draw, which is really fine for home defense. You don't want the weapon too long. And on the other hand, let's find out how much speed you can get from a 3D printed bow like this one. 49 meters per second. Let's do another one. 50 meters per second. Quite fast, don't you think, for a small bow like this? Let's now find out how well the uh, broadheads fly. Because typically on short balls with large, uh, with large blades, uh, balls sometimes have the tendency to steer themselves and then they end up being really inaccurate. They actually will come in a little higher because they are 20% lighter. So I'm going to aim a little lower this time. Oh, hit, but it broke off. It also broke off. 
Alan actually said that he designed those intentionally that way because he believes that then they will be much harder to pull out of the wound. A rather brutal idea, I think, but there is some sense in it. Well, those did go in all the way straight, very deadly, and as you see, the tips are completely reusable since they're simply screwed in, screwed in and the shafts broke off here where Alan wanted them to break off. And in fact, these things are so sharp that it's almost impossible to handle them without cutting yourself a little bit. But that's daily business here at the Slingshot Channel. And also he said that he made those from PLA and he believes that if you print them in polycarbonate, then they should be a lot more durable. I actually have asked for a quotation for someone who, like a service, a, a small serious uh, manufacturer for 3D printed stuff, and I've asked them for a quotation for 50 pieces of those. Because this is so much fun that I actually would love to shoot a little more. <laughs> it's like the one of the sexiest 3D printed objects that I've ever seen. And I have to say it's a masterpiece to design all this with the cams and the completely irregular shape and so on. My hat is off to Alan from South Africa. Now, of course, where to get it? Well, there is a link to his STL files. And I believe that he wants a small amount of money for every download, which is common and absolutely justified. I think he deserves a little bit of a financial compensation. Other than me, for guys like him, I'm doing all this for free. So I'm not charging him anything for the video. The only thing is he's not going to get his bow back. <laughs> That's the price you have to pay if you want me to make a video about your 3D printed version of one of my inventions or any other things that are interesting. So I hope that you like the features of the TRB made by Alan from South Africa because I love it. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>